In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Office Mix, a free plugin that you can download from Microsoft to add to PowerPoint 2013 for the Windows platform. Unfortunately, there's not a Mac version of this available yet, but I hope they will add one soon. Mix is a very handy tool to take a PowerPoint slide deck that you've created and add video or audio recording, markup, as well as interactive elements like quizzes right into one package that you can share either through your learning management system or through the Office Mix website. Very quick and easy to learn how to operate and, and to, uh, to take advantage of the features very quickly. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough, but I'll also include some links below to uh, give you some uh, tips to expand your knowledge of the experience a little bit more. So first what you do is you start off with a PowerPoint that you've already created. So you add any kind of uh, text, images, animation, transitions, anything you want to add to the PowerPoint slides themselves before you get started. And you can use the notes feature uh, as well. So if you want to add notes to the different slides, like you can see here, I've got some notes down at the bottom. Um, that will be visible when you go to record your uh, video for your slides. So, uh, very quick and easy. So once you download and install the Mix plugin to PowerPoint, you'll see a Mix tab added here to the top of your PowerPoint menu options. And when you click that, you'll see several different choices. Unfortunately, it's going to be slightly off screen. There's a, uh, a button here for slide recording. This is where you can record a video or audio um, presentation uh, that would be embedded in that particular slide. You can add quizzes in different apps. You can record your screen. So if you have a different application that you need to record screenshot of, you can do that. Um, you can insert video that you download or, um, or capture and import into your PowerPoint. Same with audio. Uh, you also do have some interesting export options. You can export just as a video, so a standalone video file. You lose any interactive elements like quizzes, unfortunately, with this option. But you can also publish it right to the uh, Mix website or export it as a SCORM file. This is the kind of file that you can then embed within your learning management system. So Blackboard, Canvas, Sakai, whatever you're using, it can be added as a course element in your learning management system. So it's very versatile, very powerful for a free plugin. Uh, we'll just get right into it though, just to show you just a couple of quick tips. Uh, so first of all, most often what you'd want to do is to add a video uh, or audio clip to narrate a, a particular slide as students uh, progress through the slideshow. So you begin by selecting the slide that you want to add the video to and then click on the slide recording button. And again, sorry, it's slightly off screen there. When you click that, it takes you to a different window here. And this shows you the slide, and if you have notes associated with that, you can click on that and you can see the notes right here. Of course, those won't be added to the final video, but you'll, you can see them to, to reference as you're going through the slide. Um, you can have the option to record just the audio, which is the default. So you can see with my audio levels here moving up and down, it's recording my voice. Um, or it's ready to record my voice. But you can also add the camera as well. So if I pull this down and choose my webcam here on my Surface device, you can see, how you doing? You can see my, uh, my video here uh, as well. And when, now when I'm all set to go, I'm ready to, ready to record, I click on the record button again, just slightly off screen here. What it does then is it takes me to my view of the slide. So I don't see my video anymore, which is great because it's kind of distracting as you're, uh, as you're recording. So I, I would just talk through the points on the slide. I can use the inking tools here if I'd like. I can uh, choose a particular color and then um, highlight something, draw an arrow here. I can choose a different color and um, circle a portion of the screen. So, you know, that may be uh, useful for you if you decide, uh, you know, you can erase as well. When you're all done with that, recording the uh, the video on that slide, you can either click the arrow to progress directly to the next slide, or if you want to see how that looks first, you can just stop the recording, and it'll ask you if you want to save that, and there it is. You can see that it's added this little video clip here to, uh, to the slide. Now if I close out of this 
menu, what I can do is this acts like any other element in PowerPoint. I can move it around, I can resize it. So it's nice if you've got a bunch of content on the slides, you can kind of figure out how best to um, how best to do that. And you know, you can see I've also got my um, my drawings here. I can move those around or delete them if I decide I don't want them. Um, I can preview my video here um, right in the screen, so I can see what that looks like, how it sounds. Um, so that's that's how you add the video recording. On the next slide, perhaps I don't want to record the video. Instead, I just want to uh, record an audio explanation of the content. So again, I'm going to click on my slide recording option here, but this time I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to select no camera. So this time what it's going to do is it's just going to record my voice as I, as I talk through the slide when I click on record. So as you can see there, it retains any transitions or animations that you have in your presentation. Um, if there's animation elements, you can use these buttons. I don't have any animation on this slide, but this would allow you to progress through the animations if you click that. Again, when you're done, you just click stop, and I'm going to ask it to add that to the slide. So now you can see there's just a little reference to a sound file over here on the slide, but there's obviously no video involved because I, I deleted that or turned the camera option off. So finally, the last major element I think that a lot of people might uh, benefit from at these uh, these uh, Office Mix presentations would be a, um, uh, a quiz. So you can click on this button here and you can download several different options for free from the Microsoft Store. Um, so I've, I've, in terms of quizzes, I've got a free response, which would be, just be an open-ended quiz, true, false, and multiple choice. But I've also got a couple of other apps here that you can install. Like for example, this one will allow you to bring con Academy content directly into your presentation. And then this web viewer allows you to open up a website within your slide presentation. So it's so pretty handy. Um, We'll walk you through, actually, the true false is very straightforward, as is the free response. You just add a question. I'll, I'll show you, demonstrate really quickly the multiple choice because it's a little bit more feature rich. So if I select that and click insert, it's going to, oh, I've made, it, I've made a mistake. Um, you can see over here on the left, it actually, I had a slide selected, so it's replaced that slide with this, um, this quiz feature. So I'm going to click on the edit undo button and I'm going to click below my slide this time and go to my quiz, select the multiple choice and insert. And now it's going to insert it apparently right on top of my slide again. So we'll sort that out later. Uh, just a quick, uh, quick overview here. You can type your question. And you can do a, you can add as many different options as you'd like. So if I'd like four different answer choices, I can just type them in here. Really great. Sort of great. And so on and so forth. You can um, allow, you know, typically you would have a single answer in your multiple choice question. So that would be, you would select this single choice. But if you'd like the students to have the ability to to include multiple answers, so maybe A and C, you can click on this, <coughs> allow multiple choices. You can shuffle the answers so that students that access the mix get them in different orders. <coughs> and you can also limit their attempts at a particular quiz. By clicking on this, you can add a hint that students could select or not. <coughs> and then you can also add feedback for the different answers. So if really great is the answer that is the correct one, you click on the uh, check mark next to it, and you can add a little feedback here. If it's not the correct answer, you can add some feedback here to give them a hint as to why that answer is not correct. So pretty feature rich for a really quick and easy kind of tool. And when I'm done with this particular question, then I can preview it or I can just save it um, and add it to my, uh, go ahead and take a look just so you can see what this looks like. So I'd filled out only two of the, well actually there's four answers here. Uh, I'd only filled out the text for two of them. So when I click on this one and submit, it's gonna tell me, it's gonna give me that feedback that I had selected and then you can move on to the next element. 
So it's a pretty quick way, quick way to build in some uh, interactivity into your presentation. Uh, you can add multiple uh, quizzes, uh, you know, at the end of the at the end of the the office mix, or you know, one or two questions all throughout the different uh, elements of the presentation. So you've got a lot of flexibility. When you're all done, when you've got it set up just how you want it, you click on the Upload to Mix button. Uh, if you want to upload it to the Microsoft website and you do need a Microsoft account so it's got to be a Hotmail account, um, Outlook.com, Live.com, any of those. It's all, they're all free but you have to have an account to do that. And um, it's I there's an advantage to doing this versus the LMS because it allows you to collect some analytics information. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload this uh, this mix here to the website. And you do need to uh, log in, so you'll see that um, uh, I was already logged in. Otherwise, it would have prompted me to uh, to add my credentials, but I'm logged in up here. So you can see it uploads fairly quickly. Um, if you've got 30 slides with video on each, it's going to take much longer. But this quick demo is, is going to go fairly quick. Um, once that's done, I can click on the Show Me My Mix link. And what it does is it's going to take me to my um, Office Mix account here online. And here's the uh, video that I just created. You can add some tags here for folks. You can uh, offer it via Creative Commons license if you want to make it publicly available. But the interesting thing is when I go into My Mixes, here's the part that's really interesting, I think. So um, I can click on these analytics. And for being a free tool, it's got some really nice analytics. So you can see this is by slide. It's looking at the different content of my slides. We can see how many people have viewed it. Um, the average time they spent on it, um, so forth. I can also look at it by, so when individuals access this, they have to put their name uh, and, and log in, essentially. So you can see how that, how each individual user uh, worked through the mix and, and how they did on the quizzes and so forth. Or you can look at the different interactive elements. So we, we would see all the the number of uh, percent responses for each choice here for the answers. So pretty interesting analytics for a free tool. Um, you could probably do a little bit more in your LMS, but this is nice for uh, an alternative to that. So I hope this gave you some uh, quick insight into Office Mix. Uh, I'm going to add some links for some additional information. Um, but I hope this gave you a good idea of how you could get started with this particular software app.